Hey guys, welcome back to the series where I'm showing you all of my master replica props uh, one by one and in chronological order. Um, I'm starting with the lightsabers, but obviously I'm going to show you the blasters and the helmets and the ships and all that as well. But uh, I already did the episode one Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. So now let's move on to episode two. Let's start with Count Dooku's lightsaber. So uh, let's go take a look at it. All right, guys, so here it is, the Master Replica's Signature Edition Count Dooku lightsaber. It's definitely one of my favorites, but before we get to the details, let's look at the Certificate of Authenticity to learn a little bit of the history of this lightsaber. Now, with Master Replicas, obviously these have been sold out for now 20 years. So you always gotta be really careful about buying these in the aftermarket and making sure that they're complete including all this little paperwork so obviously you know there's the invitation to the um, exclusive membership your um, kind of warranty card and then these would sometimes come not all signature editions but these older ones came with two different certificates of authenticity one of them uh, where the plaque would be um, kind of held which is this one and you know it gives you kind of the same details that the other one will um, as you could see there looks like they used uh, various references including the original prop and the 3d uh, computer model uh, which was uh, what they were using around the time of Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. And then it also came with the second Certificate of Authenticity, and this was kind of the, the main one. And not always, but most of the time it would include a picture of the artist who was signing these. Uh, in this case, you could see Christopher Lee there on the left. And again, it's another Certificate of Authenticity, um, kind of more specific to the the general lightsaber. So you always got to watch out when you're buying these in the secondary market, make sure that they have both of these certificates and obviously all the extra little goodies. And they also came with these cool little, um, just little catalogs with all the other lightsabers, which is kind of mind blowing to look at them, right? Look at the price point on these, right? The limited edition was what? $2.99, right? And then the signature edition was $4.99. It's insane, right? Compared to the prices that we're paying for these days in the aftermarket. But here it is. And it's just such a beautiful, elegant lightsaber. I mean, the way this guy is designed is just so uh, you know, appropriate for Christopher Lee. Um, again, the elegance of it, right? Just is there and so here's a signature plaque now with the old master replica signature plaques you really got to be careful with them because any little oil or any residue from oil will cause permanent fingerprints on these and as you could see over time they kind of start decaying so you got to be very very careful uh, mine has a little like permanent little thumbprint on the top left corner and on the bottom right corner which again it's very very common on all these um, that's why it's always important to wear gloves when you're handling these older uh, replicas make sure you're not holding it with your hands and getting all the oils on there because they it will cause permanent damage to them so again make sure you're always wearing gloves when when handling these so as you can see there, the details are really cool. There's a mixture of you know the, the nickel plating, um, gold plating, a little bit of the rubber grip, right? So you're able to hold it. Um, and then the coolest part that kind of just sticks out is the ignition trigger there. It's almost like a gun trigger. Um, and, and it's like red, it's translucent. I mean, it's just such a beautiful saber. And like I mentioned before, these sabers came in a limited edition size, which was, I believe it was 3,000 of them, and a signature edition, which was 1,000. And with these older master replicas, and, and in fact, any master replicas these days, because they've been sold out for such a long time, um, as you can see, this one came out in 2002, so literally 20 years ago this guy came out um the addition size is not as important anymore now back in the day it was right when you first started collecting these back in 
2005. Um, yeah, you'd want to get to a lower number, you know, just to kind of brag that, hey, I got one closer to, to number one. But these days, because they've been sold out for such a long time, the addition size is irrelevant anymore because they're sold out and because they've been sold out for such a long time. Unless you have number one or sometimes an AP, right, an artist proof, those are the ones that tend to fetch a little bit more just because some collectors are very... Um, you know, on point about collecting the number ones and the APs. Or, you know, some collectors might pay a little bit more for a specific number, right? I know some collectors like the number 66, right? Because order 66. So they'll go and try to find number 66 or number 77, right? For Star Wars and, and so forth. But other than that, the edition size does not matter anymore and will not affect the price of these um, out in the secondary market. So there it is guys again such a beautiful saber and if you're out looking for one of these in the secondary market feel free to hit me up uh, I'm on Instagram uh, at Star Wars replicas you know I, I always love to help other collectors make sure that they're getting a complete piece or if you have any just general questions I'll be more than happy to answer it but yeah so I can't wait to kind of go through all these sabers and show you every other saber uh, I'll probably do episode three next which will be the Yoda lightsaber and the Sidious lightsaber. So we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.